Okay, let's work on your basic algebra skills. And what we're going to be talking about in this video is evaluating variable expressions. So here I have a variable or algebraic expression. And, uh, you know, we just let's focus in on that word I'm saying here, expression. Well, what's an expression? Well, an expression is like an, uh, how you express yourself. I mean, that's, that's like a, um, a sentence, right? So I can just write something. I can express my feelings. So I can say, well, you know what? I like a red car. So I'm expressing a thought or a feeling by using words. Well, in algebra, we can express things by using variables. Okay, and that's why we call this a variable and or an algebraic expression. Now, when we use this word evaluate, that means something. Okay, so you can see here that uh, this is h times t to the z power. So h t z, the way it's written here, uh, so just so no one's confused, because we're kind of talking about basic algebra, this means h times t, and this uh, t is to the z power. But when I evaluate in algebra, what that means is that we're going to go ahead and assign an actual numeric value to these variables. For h, we're going to uh, replace that h with a 2, and this t here, we're going to replace a 3 with, and then this z, that's called an exponent, by the way. This is a base, that's an exponent, this whole thing's a power. Uh, we're going to replace that z with the 4. We're going to plug in these values for those. Uh, we're going to replace those variables with the respective values, and then we're going to simplify, and we're going to come up with some numeric answer. So that's what it means to evaluate an expression. So if you think you can do this, I pretty much told you what to do. Go ahead and pause the video and put your answer into the comment section. I'm pretty sure some of you are going to get the wrong answer, even though this seems pretty straightforward. You can even use your calculator. That's fine. So I'm mean, going to get the wrong answer, and I'm going to explain exactly why. So you don't make this mistake, okay, when you're evaluating variable expressions in algebra. So I'm going to get into all this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can help you excel in your math course. Now, if you um, are taking any test that has math on it, so things like the GED, High Set, Task, uh, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, SAT, ACT, uh, let's see here, the CLEP exam, uh, Alex, AccuPlacer, uh, let's see, what else? What do we got? Uh, teacher certification, nursing school entrance exam. I can go on and on. End of course exam. There are so many exams outside of your normal math class that you have to take uh, in your life, whether you're going to college, going to graduate school, going to the military, uh, trying to get a certification, trying to get into some sort of program that has math on it. So check out my full course catalog. I, I can help you prepare and uh, pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have a fantastic homeschool math program that you might be interested in. And if you don't have any math notes, don't stress out. You can use my math notes. Okay, I'm going to be nice about this. I'm going to leave uh, links to my math notes in the description of this video. But uh, here's the deal. I've been teaching math for decades. If you don't take great math notes, you'll never be great at math. Okay, this is one of the most underappreciated things uh, that students don't grasp. They just kind of think, ah, notes are not mm, I'm so important to take. Listen, I'm here to tell you that note-taking is critical to your success in math. So take great math notes. But in the meantime, you can use my math notes to study from. Okay, so we have ht to the z. This is a variable and or uh, algebraic expression. We have uh, particular uh, numeric values assigned to these variables. We want to evaluate this expression. So we're going to plug in these respective values into this expression and go ahead and get our answer. So go ahead and uh, put your final answer. Is this Again, you can use a calculator, all right? But I'm telling you right now, a lot of you out there are going to get give me the wrong answer. All right, let's get to it. So we're evaluating uh, in variable expression. So I'm not showing you the answer just yet. Okay, so here for H, okay, I'm going to replace 2. Now, one of the things that you want to do uh, when you're evaluating or plugging in a number value in for a variable is you want to use parentheses, okay? Now, sometimes you don't have to use parentheses in every single um, uh, setup, but using parentheses helps avoid confusion, okay? So here, instead of just having 2 and a 3, notice how I, I put in this 2 into this H, okay? It's a good habit 
uh, to just use parentheses when you're plugging in values for variables. So for this H, I'm plugging in a two because H is equal to two, okay? Now, T is gonna be equal to three. I could have just uh, put parentheses just like this as well and uh, put parentheses around my four, but I wanted to just kind of leave it a little bit more clear like this. So this means two times three, okay? For T, again, I'm plugging in uh, three. You can see that right there. And then Z, uh, this little exponent, I'm plugging in four right up there, okay? So if you got this correct in your setup, all right, if you understood that, then that's excellent. We'll go ahead and give you a little check mark. But here's the deal, okay? I need to go ahead and calculate this out and simplify and give me or get that one number value that is the result of evaluating this variable expression with these numbers. This is the whole, you know, uh, ball game, if you will, in this particular problem. Now, here, I, I got a little bit of a hint, okay, for you so you can kind of think about it. What does this mean, this PEMDAS? Well, this is the order, order of operations, okay? It's our little acronym, okay, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction, or whatever you see from left to right. I've done tons of videos on um, order of operations, another area that a lot of students confuse. Now, here's the thing. Let's just go to, uh, back to this problem, and let's uh, take a look at two different ways students can interpret this, okay? They can go, hmm, two times, three times, four, so what do I do first? Do I go two times, three times, four? In other words, figure out what this answer is. Okay, Get, figure out what this answer is right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna multiply by two, and this is my answer. Okay, that's one approach. Or I can go this route, two times three, so this would be six, and then I get go ahead and take that to the fourth power, so it would be like six times six times six times six, and then I'll, that would be my answer, okay? So which is the correct approach? Of course, three to the fourth would be this. We'll break this down two times three times three times three times three. So you can see here, I can end up with two different answers. Which one is correct? Well, the correct ver uh, answer is the one that follows the order of operations, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual answer. So. The actual answer is when we take three to the fourth first. Okay, so when you're looking at PEMDAS, you do what's inside parentheses first. There's nothing to do inside parentheses because we don't have any addition or subtraction, any operators. The next thing you do is E. That's exponents or powers. So do we have any powers? Yes, we have three to the fourth power. So three times three times three times three is 81. So three to the fourth is 81. You have to do this first. Okay, now I'm going to multiply this by 2. All right, so it's 2 times 3 to the 4th. 3 to the 4th is 81. So then this is the last thing we uh, do, which is, of course, multiplication. 2 times 81 is 162. All right, so that is the correct answer. And if you got that right, I must go ahead and give you an awesome happy face with the good old 1982 Mohawk and A+. Plus. 100%. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a few stars here so you can feel extra uh, special today. It's a nice job. Now, if you um, uh, inadvertently did 6 to the 4th, right, 6 times 6 times 6 times 6, and got your answer 36 times 36, well, don't feel bad about that because, listen, uh, you made an error, but and making mistakes is part of learning, okay? That's just, you know, the way it goes. I'd rather you make a mistake with me than making a mistake on a test, right? Now, that's why I kind of like try to, when I teach math, I try to emphasize common misunderstanding because I've been doing this for so long. I can tell you the mistakes you're gonna make before you even make them, okay? But if in fact you did this correct and you didn't do it by luck, by the way, like if you understood exactly why you got 162, well, that's excellent, okay? So that means that you're ready to continue on in your algebra journey, right? So evaluating expressions um, you know, you're going to do this uh, quite frequently in algebra. And to be honest with you, this is a pretty easy problem. So, you know, uh, typically what's going to end up happening is you're going to have more, more challenging expressions and you're going to have more complicated order of operation prompts. So you've got to really, really master the order of operations, PEMDAS, all that good stuff. And uh, I have a ton of videos on that in my uh, pre-algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. But if this particular video helps you out, well, then go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. 
And if you're new to my YouTube channel, um, hopefully you'll uh, subscribe. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced math. So I do arithmetic, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus, and even calculus. I try to spread the love all around because I just love teaching mathematics. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all the content on my channel and all the stuff I will be making. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.